Welcome to Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, an extremely cryptic puzzle game where you have to solve some sort of mystery in a manner. You're not really told anything from the get-go, you gotta figure everything out. Everything seems really confusing, but that's the point. Somehow this game got really good critical reviews, so I'm excited to find out what makes it so good. Prepare yourselves to solve an extremely challenging mystery. Wait, this isn't a cutscene? What a weird way to start a game. I am Lorelei, and I can... Walk in front of a strange camera angle. Hot. Hot letzes. Now to schutz beget ot. Is this a real language? Don't tell me it's German. I won't believe you. Car. Thank you. I was really confused before. It's locked. Oh. But bag with car key and tampons. But what if this unlocks the car? <laughs> <laughs> Why did that sound effect play? So it did not do anything to the car. More tampons? Okay, that's too many tampons. I'll try the car key. Listen to the radio. Look in the glove compartment. I'm in need of gloves. Oh, just an instruction booklet and a letter. What a ripoff. Um, you know what? I'll do a letter first. Signorina. As discussed, I am expecting your arrival at Hotel Lettuce's Jar on January 7th next year. This project is my magnum opus, the mother goose of all birds. It is my firm belief that you can help me transcend the limitation of art for humans. We will put on a show for the eyes of the cosmos. From R. Nero in 1962, the limitations of art. Maybe this instruction book will tell me more. Thank you for selecting the Lorelei and Laser Eyes software. Uh-huh. The goal of the game is to find the truth. What happened at this old hotel? Who are you? Shit, I ask that every day. A photo file of the instruction manual. What is this photo? Oh, blood. Someone spilt their wine and they're distressed. It honestly does look like she's sobbing. I will laugh if it turns out it's like, yeah, this was spilt wine the whole time. There's a radio. I feel like in this mystery, everything's important. You can't let any stone go unturned. If I simply leave a stone unturned, it was because I am blind and do not have laser eyes. Although I should get LASIK, that would be pretty lit. I didn't like that song. It's so 1956. We're in the future now, 1962. I'm gonna lock my car, because I'm responsible. And carry on through the path to the hotel. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna explore around the hotel first. You know, try to hop into Lorenzo the Great. Caravan, it's locked. There is a letter slot in the door. Tickets is scribbled in red paint below the slot. Use tampons. It did nothing. Find tickets for the caravan. I could go to the hotel or I could steamroll myself right. Oh, a locked gate to the cemetery. So it would seem. This time for sure. This time the tampons will work. This is not good for the guy who doesn't know how tampons work allegations. Alright, I'll enter the hotel as you wish. Suspicious River. Can I? I just want to swim. This Piers Lorelei is not the swimming type. Here I am. Oh, dog! Oh, with a letter. Valuable information, pupper. Give me that. Oh, he's cute. Adorable. I'll inspect the collar first so he sticks around. Rudy, what an adorable goldfish. Read the letter. Our mystery starts in previous correspondence. Find the year. Wait, is it not 1962? Is that what they're telling me? Do I have the power of time traveling? It seems like it's almost Oprah Din style putting me in like a weird snapshot or weird transposition of the past. And another locked door. Uh, with the four digit code, find the year. I'm gonna try 1962. I guess the letter on the year. No. Unlock the gatehouse. Oh, my own stats. Temperature, bladder, caffeine influence, what? Oh, and the economy's crashed. Isn't relatable? This is neat. Well, I guess I haven't been in the gate. Also locked. Everything's locked. 
Oh, well, the letter from Nero is next year. So 1963. Yeah. And both are outlined in red. So you know it's related. Aha! All right. Actually, pretty nice for a first puzzle. It's always a good sign when the first puzzle is non-trivial. Lorelei the Laser Eyes file system from 1982. Load file. Oh, these are my save files. Save file here. Amazing. What about load file from disk? No. What stats? Oh, there's a lot of stuff to find here. This is neat. They keep track of everything in their own ways. What is this? Handheld gaming device. For a second, I thought this said handheld gambling device. As if we didn't already have Balotro. What is this doing? Install game calc.rom. Oh, math. Six times nine. 54, amazing. Okay, plus six plus nine. Whoa. Install game. Interesting. Oh, I would install it from my possessions. I do not possess any game. It's very sad. I hope I find one one day. Electrical cabinets with its own separate lock. I would be shocked if they reused 1963. I'm just going to try it just in case. I think I'll actually be unhappy if it's correct. Good. What else? A pin board. Handwritten notes like lock gate, feet, dog, and write handwritten notes. There is a typed letter. Uh, another one from Nero talking 116 years back in time. So back from either 1962 or 1963. I guess I can try both easily. Is the first part of the letter relevant? Mouse who finds fresh carrot among moldy cheese. The past is the key to the future. That is cryptic, but I can surely solve the electrical grid. 116 years back in time. I'm gonna try six first, just in case it's back in time from now. No, it would be seven then. Okay. So, okay, the current year is 63. And then we went 116 years back from it. This, oh, okay, add three numbers to get together to get 2014. Interesting. Well, it's definitely not 2395. Could be 1000 plus 941, maybe? Because I feel like th this looks pretty close to right, just based on mental math, because that's 1993, and then a little bit of 21, and we're there. Cool. Oh, sick. This game is a fun aesthetic. I love me some math. Oh, a shortcut that's bolted from the other side. Oh yeah, the game did mention shortcuts. Lead me to the mansion. What mysteries are here? Dog! Aww. Yes, who's a good boy? Dude, if the dog is a puzzle, I will be squeaming with delight. What is this? American dollar. You can pick up cash. What purpose does that serve? Creator. Artist. Like, why do I feel like everything is a clue in this game? I just don't know what it's for. Magician. Like, I think there will come a time where these four statues are necessary. Dreamer. Just something about it feels puzzly. Is this an entrance? It is. Okay. Surveillance monitor. Uh, twist the novel? Twist this other novel? Oh, oh, ooh! Okay, I want to get a little bit more clear here. Hold on. Is clearing up. Oh, man at the gate. Who is he? Is he even here now? Is this bolted shortcut? It's locked. Oh, I okay. I need like a three digit code. It's like one of those master locks. Yes, there's a 16 or upside down 91. You know what? I'll try it just in case, but it's got to be a multi code. Yeah, it's got to be a multi number code. There's no way. The resemblance is too uncanny to those locks that require three digits. Okay, is there an actual man at the gate? Nope. Well, there's another room off to the side, which is a roundabout way to another dollar. Hala hala, get dollar to another shortcut. It's bolted from the other side. Well, surely I can get into this, right? Locked, but a keypad next to the door. 
Ah, blood. Okay. One blood splotch on the one. Two on the eight. Three on the four. Four on the seven. Also a year, 1847, which was the previous year input that I did. Is that meant to be coincidence, or...? Maybe that's just the year of the event. Oh, can I follow the bloody footsteps? Or, I mean, I'll follow it. There's someone talking in there. Listen in. John, should I change the title to Laser Eyes? David, are they talking about this game again? More action? Have you even read what I sent you, Mr. Bob Hamburger? Yeah, these dumb fucking puzzles need to stay out of my game. Is there someone with a soul I can talk to instead? Amen. You know, I should go say hi. Sounds like someone is very upset in there. Okay. <laughs> uh, so they, they had an argument about whether it should be a puzzle game or a shooter game. And rightfully, the puzzle game fan shot the shooty game fan. He needed to go. Vending machine. Uh, collect all 20. Ah, this is what the dollar is for. Okay, give me that. Oh. A Pokeball! Who's that Pokemon? It's three fucking bears. I got another dollar. I can't wait to see what I get this time. Who's that Pokemon? It's Horseman with key. Can I take his key? I think it's a clue. Okay, well down here, there's a lot. Let's go check these random rooms. What is this? A drawing board. A lot of early sketches and notes on the drawing board. A memory recovered. One module costs 10 bucks. So this seems to be a makeup of the mansion. Just, what, it's supposed to be modular? Or a box is a room, or? Modern design proposal? Any hidden costs? No, surely it'll cost exactly as much as the initial cost for it. They'll never jack up the price. Module room design. Project team said their cranes cannot rotate modules. One of each module in stock. The structure said our measurements do not make sense. Recalculate the area. Remember to report cost to client. So I gotta figure out the cost of the mansion, basically? This will make more sense later. I'm sure of it. Document tube. Oh, okay. So I bet this is gonna be the overall cost. Seven dollar. Open the tube. Hey, it's Future Tyler. I was looking over the footage and decided I wanted to actually take a stab at solving this puzzle. So based on the underlying words, estimated project cost. If one cube is worth 10, starting from the left, we got two vertical, one cube, two cube. Behind it, I believe that's gonna be five cubes. And then another two vertical for nine total. And then behind it, I'm gonna guess it's all attached. So that's 12. However, it does say symmetric design, so I bet because the cube all the way to the right juts to the right of the pillar, there's a 13th cube completely obstructed behind the left side pillar. And that's what any hidden costs refers to. So 130 being the cost. See, I don't get this part though. Least expensive option. And then... Recalculate the area. I mean, nine times 81 is 729. So I got 130 and 729. Report cost. So I was thinking maybe the cost would be here. Let's try 130. Uh, doesn't work. Let's try 729. Also doesn't work. So there's gotta be more. This page is confusing. This page makes half sense. This page is very confusing. It's just showing the same picture multiple times and putting different numbers under it. Oh, um, okay, it's probably like a matching. Maybe there's like subtle differences between the drawings? Oh, there actually might be. Like 330 has one rectangle window on the top and then all the other ones on the top row have two rectangular windows. So it's not the 330. What are the other differences? Oh, well, there's a door, so it's not 215, because that lacks the door. 195, maybe? That looks like it matches the thing in the upper right. 150 is wrong. Too many windows. 50 has a pointer in its upper left, and the key does not. So 195 is correct. What about the right side? 85 has one fewer tall window. 400 just looks right. I'll circle back. 500, is the tower on the right a little too tall? Probably. 
60s windows are wrong, 275 windows are wrong. So maybe 595? 595, let's go! That feels earned. What is this? Okay, a map of the area. That will help out a lot next episode. I'm gonna throw it back to you, past Tyler. I feel like I need to see a model somewhere and a miniature version of the mansion so I can calculate the cost. Oh, is this helpful? A shredded poster. Oh, hold on. Okay, this looks like fairly simple. Memory recovered. Wait, let me unshred the poster, please. Aha. And then take this and bring it all the way down. That, that looks pretty complete, actually. Okay. I have no idea what that means. Again, it's gotta be a clue. It will mean something. If I had to guess, I think that's gonna combine with something else. It's gonna combine, and it's gonna come together. An another shredded poster? More Lorenzo the Great? This guy gets around. Let's go here. Yeah, that looks about right. It kind of looks like one for one. Mm, but that also could be reading into it too much. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more of those and multiple of the shredded posters combined to make something else. More Dala. Oh boy, can't wait to get more figurines. Shortcut. Oh, bolted from the other side. So this is suspicious. I guess I'll go upstairs. Oh, blood. With biographies. They've been torn out from the shelf. Life and times of Lorelei Weiss. The pages are torn out. No, my own biography. Renzo Nero, a terrible animal. Most of the book is covered in red paint. But a few pages and paragraph are still readable. Given the recurring themes of gambling, Nero's comments about cards in the 1960s interview comes as no surprise. There is magic in cards. My childhood friend Gino could do great things with cards I've never seen since. He was good with tricks, a horrible gambler. He never realized that in order to win, you have to cheat. He was a simple boy who relied on luck. The game is rigged. Cheating is part of the game. The occult always had a hold on Nero. From his scrapbooks and indeed his work, which often included elements like crystal glazing, gazing, whatever, tarots and such, we can surmise that he was particularly interested in soothsaying. He once said to Claudia, editor on the Etymologist Dream, that he did not need to see the finished cut. He had already seen the whole film in a prophetic vision. Contradictions are contrary to my beliefs. He famously wrote to his worst critic, Paul DeMont. Yeah, fuck Paul. Nero's relationship with money was complex. He would often gamble and frequently said that magic and money walk side by side in art. Yet he would contradictively as often claim that money stifled creativity, calling it a red man-eating beast. He would frequently donate money to a local dog shelter since there were no anti-cat shelters to be found. Based, based, based. Several friends and acquaintances have told stories about how Nero would carry around large amounts of cash in grocery bags or in his pockets, which would often result in him misplacing or losing them altogether. Besides the technical aspects, Nero had little interest in the historical spectacles created in Sinaturzo. The apparatus was too big to create anything which would not be controlled by outside forces. In one of Nero's many manifests, there is a satirical proposal proclaiming that only dictators should be allowed to direct films. Yeah, I can't wait to see the latest Kim Jong-un classic. <laughs> It'll be a hit. As time passed, his opinion would swing, and he instead regarded being out of control as the only viable way to create art. Surrendering to the ether, Nero calls it in another manifest. Nero's time at Sinaturzo is rarely spoken of, but he spoke of it briefly in a 1959 interview with Swedish TV's Lars Haaland. I heard the whispers in the stomach of the behemoth Sinaturzo, the old vanguard survivors from the silent era. I knew that there was an ancient conspiracy I wanted in. Nero hated distinctions and swung like a pendulum between art house and exploitation. A dog like all other dogs is still frequently aired on TV in Italy and Germany. An automobile is constantly screened at cult movie festivals. His work has found an audience, but a terrible animal 
definitely ended his already limited commercial appeal. Nero had crossed the line between eccentric and madman, and the distributor abandoned the film after its initial premiere. The first and only cinema sustenuto project was a Trojan horse. An American studio, likely not too familiar with his earlier work, had been convinced that Nero could create a cheap gothic horror film, which was in vogue at the time. Had they read Nero's attached manifest, it was unlikely that they would have given him a cent. An early draft of the proposal suggested, hopefully jokingly, that the audience should be lined up and shot after each screening. Based? He had a great interest in technique, and his friend Kai remembered their visit to the Electronic Art Symposium well. He called the whole exhibition a one potato meal, but he kept coming back to the Weiss's product computer, which failed at every task given. It aligned well with its thoughts about machines surpassing humans, while still being inept at everything, since they were built by morons. He called Weiss a woman with laser eyes, me, and said that he already knew they would soon work together. What a fascinating character. It must have been a fun character to write. Eccentric artsy man. Oh, there's a photo phonograph here, with music. For real? Nice. Okay. Books about numbers. Holy. Number Puzzles Volume 1. Oh, shortcut to a quicker brain. Interesting. Help me figure out shortcuts. Each puzzle can always be answered with a number from 0 to 99. Dr. S.C. Bolt. 200 puzzle books. 50,000 brain teasers. That's like 250 brain teasers per book. Uh, 1847, 1963. 2014. Which number is hidden in the underlined sentence? What? I can't read Swedish. Let me punch this into Google Translate. The very first word means P. Second word means rail fox. The third word doesn't fucking translate. Manasaur means menswear. Wait, is this supposed to be misspelled Swedish? Also, I should have read Puzzle Association of Denmark. All right, I'm pissing off all the Europeans. Translate this from Danish. That doesn't tell me anything. These aren't real words. Try English, motherfucker. Okay, diamonds and squares. Uh, like, why do I feel like this is powers of two doubling? Like, right from the get-go. Uh, last one's 8192? Is that right? Oh, 4096, 2048, 1024. Yeah, 8192. Oh, and that actually checks out. Yeah, this power is a two. So diamond is two, square is four. 442 minus 424 is 18, plus 24 is 42. 42 is the answer. The thing is, like, even solving these, it's not like I can input them, right? I don't think so. TikTok timekeeping system? Uh, it's telling us about 24 hour clock system and how it's superior. 1847. It's that number again. Oh, and also 2014 is in here as well. Interesting. Counting with Roman numerals. Yep. 2014, 1963, 1847. I think it's just a simple tutorial. Stromobo grammatics for beginners. Is strobo grammatic number is a rotationally symmetric ambigram. Oh, when wrote when written with most standard characters, it can be rotated 180 degrees, like physically. So if you take eight and you just Whoop! It's still eight. 69 makes an appearance. Very nice, very nice. Okay, important information. This game's gonna have some weird stuff. I'm deeply looking forward to some of these puzzles. I just got a lot to discern. More Dala! A document tube. Uh, this again. There's more tubes. I don't even know what the clue is for that one. More Dala! People are just leaving them around. Okay, I'll go this way. Ha uh, ho, ha ho. An astronomical clock. Interesting symbols. It's one of the symbols on the outside, 69. I feel like I want to try like 2014, 1963, or 1874. I need a letter L, which does not appear here. This clock takes no L's. Well, maybe this ring is one whole number? 1,000, 1,500, 1,700. 1798 so okay 1798 is one symbol and then this number is another symbol this number is another symbol this number is another symbol understood i'll come back i need more clues locked door okay what about this room oh 
Film poster. Hmm, something Oceano. Tbilisi. Movies by the eccentric. Locked. That could be anything. But these are the only clues. I don't know what they mean, unless that the large wooden object can help me. But it blocks the way. What? I wonder if I go right. Oh, more movie posters? Automobile. Recognize that. When was the automobile made? It doesn't mention. Okay. The photographic memory is really nice for this. Shortcut. Bolt it from the other side. So I don't have to double back to look at info. It's all in my notes. Actually, I'm curious where this goes. Back to the first room. Well, hold on. Maybe there's something on the notice board. There's notices about events and happenings at the hotel. Okay. Has anyone seen my lost pages last year? My typewriter, January 13th. Cosmic personal value? I'm staying in room 1963 again. Exhibition? Second floor, open all day. There's something written on the back of the note. Uh, really? It's just backwards text. Maybe it's similar, but like a couple words are different and the different words are important, but I'm not going to figure out which words yet until I know what it's even for. I wouldn't be surprised if like two words are different. Guided ghost tour with dinner. If that dinner isn't the remains of the ghost's body, I don't want it. Fortune telling and magic show. There's also a mystic, a quiz. Secret location only for members. Sure. Lost documents, tubes. Please come by in our temporary studio in the basement if you know their whereabouts. Thank you. Okay. Oh, more paint. Elevator service info. Phone number. Something 61. An animal terrible. Basically got him canceled. Plus sign lithograph. Plus a dog like all other dogs. So I'm probably adding together the years of their release to get to this door. But it doesn't say the years of their release. Well, checking my mental notes, there's shortcut 16. So I could maybe solve puzzle 16. Ah, what is Y minus X? Uh, so my first thought is each partition adds up to the same number, which is 100 according to the left side. The bottom also adds up to 100. And the L piece also adds up to 100. So Y is 100 and X is 22. So 78. All right, hold on. So is this also SVI on the door? 78. Yeah! Ooh, a cool puzzle solved. Where does that take me? Ah, gotcha. Back to here. So it just connects the outside rooms. Well, that's cool. That's actually the best way I've ever seen to unlock shortcuts. Also, why does the camera move? Oh God.